sent Sarah Kuhn. Last year sometime in the spring, I dreamt that I owed a shiny new iPad Pro and that it would provide much happiness and joy in my life. I saved up all of my lunch money for 10 months and combined with all of my Christmas gift cards, I finally pulled enough funds together and hey man, well, it was hard, I sacrificed everything. All I thought and dreamt about for 10 months was obtaining this magnificent iPad and finally, last month, I ordered the 64K gold version of the iPad Pro. I thought the iPad Pro would make me a great artist, bring me fame and fortune, connect me in a meaningful way with the rest of the world, make me important and great. In my dreams the iPad was going to make me bigger, better, smarter, richer, even stronger, and somehow more attractive. All the iPad has done is frustrate me with long learning curves, apps that distract me away from talking to people in real time and making it so I can't sleep at night. Ping. 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 Now I am shadowed by a nagging sense of weariness and self-doubt. Even when I create something that seems meaningful, it isn't enough. I always think that I can do better. That dang iPad has opened up a new world to me in which I feel stuck, exposed, embarrassed and sometimes, totally humiliated. <laughs> Snow Leopard, you are not alone in this problem of Diego. Our egos have us relentlessly pursing attention and power. It undermines the very goal it sets out to achieve. The ego needs our help. If we want to have a more satisfying existence, we have to teach it to let up on its grip. We must let go. I suggest that you limit your time on this new iPad. Start with five minutes a day. If it is indeed a tool towards increased self-awareness, it will become apparent in what manner it is best for you, to use, in a useful and enlightening way. Snow Leopard, there is much self-esteem to be gained from learning, how, and when, to surrender. Ha ha ha.